Greetings everyone. This video is going to be about the difference between source players and non-source players or soulless ones. Greetings. This infinite source truth is made possible by the generous contributions and support of viewers like you. Please consider making a contribution now. Thank you. So the entities or soulless ones are here to bounce the matrix out also. Where you have great wealth, you have the equal and opposite of it, which is poverty. There has to be balance maintained within the matrix, and it's the entities that are taking up that imbalance, okay? For one thing, uh, it is entities that have the majority of the money and it is the entities that have famine and extreme poverty. In this game, source players are provided for. Maybe not uh, for every whim and desire a source player has, but always it's part of the matrix. Always a source player will have enough to meet their basic needs. And you now have the power as a source player to create and manifest through the law of attraction by raising your frequency an abundance of good things within this matrix system. Now, let's also talk about uh, entities. Now, we have a lot of entities in the entertainment business and they are there to get energy from you. Sporting games. Anywhere there is a lot of source players and they're giving their energy to the matrix, you are creating huge energy vortexes for the matrix in those areas. You'll see entities getting promotions and you wonder why you didn't get that promotion. Well, an entity was given the promotion. They are usually kept in the higher up positions to create emotions. How did being passed over for that promotion make you feel? Yes. You have to realize it was part of the script. It is part of the script. But the script now is totally up to you. You can play by the old script or you can create a new one. But in order to create a new one, you have to raise your frequency. And to raise your frequency sufficiently to be able to be the powerful creator that you are means that you have to stop giving your energy away to the matrix and you need to stop eating animal meat, flesh, and blood. Now, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. You're still escaping the matrix and you can do what you like. Isn't that nice? You can make the choice. But if you choose to eat the animal meat, flesh, and blood, then you are basically giving away your frequency. You can't raise your frequency. Most of the governments in power positions are run by entities or soulless ones. Uh, they are part of the matrix and that's their jobs. And to make you believe that you have a choice, choice in this matrix previously was an illusion because they controlled both sides of the choice. Well, now you really have a choice and you are a powerful creator and you can create your script the way you want. Okay, and there are many different kinds of entities, although they all have the same outward containers. They can be hosts to external traffic, which would be aliens and other entities from outside the matrix entering into this dimension of the matrix. There are um, reptilians and aliens and greys and all types of entities that can come into and inhabit the soulless ones and they can come and go very much like the agents in the matrix would come and go out of what i'll call the soulless ones in the matrix but along with the closing down of this game all of the reptilians and all of the traffic in and out of the soulless ones have been stopped. So the soulless ones are simply soulless ones. They cannot be entered by outside entities such as any of the aliens or reptilians or 
any of that. Unless, in a few cases, they're actually not inside uh, the entities and they have simply cloaked themselves. And in that case, well, those are still around. But don't think too much about it. Don't give your energy to it. Keep your energy for yourself and get busy about raising your frequency so that you are not on the fear levels and the lower levels and raise your frequency so that you can be a powerful creator and experience this life the way you desire to experience it. And the other entities are all the animals and the animals are here to collect and harvest energy also. We have cats around here as you could see. The cats kind of keep me really aware of the matrix also because I, every time I see one of the cats, I touch one of the cats, I recognize that they are indeed entities and what they're here for. So it kind of keeps me in the now and you know what this matrix is about. So just be aware and all the animals, all the animals are entities also, but they're just not the human form. I'm also going to say that if you're curious if someone is a source player or not, and you have a high enough frequency, you have a good dependable programmed pendulum, you can simply visualize that person in your mind or think of that person and ask your source self by using your pendulum, programmed pendulum, if that person is a source player or not, and you can obtain the answers. This also works with any information or teaching that anyone is giving on the internet or in books or anything else that you are researching or investigating into. You can ask if those people are source players or not. Now, not all source players have good information. They're sharing information that they think is correct, but in, me in most cases, it is information that they have gained from the matrix itself and they are simply stating it over again to you. This is where just because a person is a source player doesn't necessarily mean that everything that they're going to say is going to be infinite source truth. And you need to break things down piece by piece. Is this true? Is that true? to find where the matrix lies are hidden and where the source truth gems are. This needs to be done with every teaching. And if you're watching my teachings, you need to verify everything that I say for yourself. Don't believe me, don't believe. You need to know. You need your infinite source self connection. You need to know this for yourself. Your connection to your infinite source self and using your program pendulum, you can get answers, source truth answers that are dependable. Because your source self has your best interest in mind. Now, the matrix can and does put out truth, but it is always mixed in with lots of lies because it doesn't want you to know. It doesn't care if you know little bits here and there. If you can't put the entire puzzle together and it's messed up by a lie or a, something that's going to lead you down a wrong path, then it diverts you from the path that is going to bring you to more source truth knowledge. You need to verify it for yourself. You need your program pendulum, especially with all of the information that I am going to be sharing with you you won't hardly be able to believe it. And that's just to believe it. You need to know it. It is that important. Use your programmed pendulum. I've given you the video that shows you how to program your pendulum, how to choose a pendulum. You need to do that.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. If you found this life changing, please consider giving a contribution and consider supporting monthly or giving a single gift via PayPal. Links are in the description box below. And be sure to check out these links for guided self-hypnosis meditations.